Hey, what's up everybody? Kevin Anson with TheVideoCourse.com. Today I want to show you guys how to quickly fine tune the color of your shots with one of my favorite tools inside of Lumetri Color. If you're not familiar with Lumetri Color, it's a pretty powerful effect in Premiere that allows you to perform some very decent coloring and grading on your shots. Of course, if you have the time and the know-how, DaVinci Resolve is the best tool for the job, but for those projects with a quicker turnaround, I just love using Lumetri Color. Also, I'm giving away a free LUT you can add to your videos, which I'll talk about later in this tutorial. So I'm actually recording this tutorial from my hotel room in Tempe, Arizona, where it's a cool 111 degrees outside. <laughs> hey everybody, I, uh, I'm on a shoot for a couple days for one of my clients and I had a couple hours to kill, so I figured, hey, why not? I haven't made a tutorial in a while, so here we go. So as many of you are aware, color correcting is a huge part of what we do as video editors. You can cool down or warm up a shot, tweak the RGB values, white balance with the color picker tool, and do all of this until you're blue in the face. But there are simply times when it's downright impossible to get certain shots to look right, right? So when I learned about this feature, it immediately had a huge impact on the quality of my videos. All right, so as I mentioned before, I'm traveling, so I don't have any actual video footage to color correct with you guys. So I went ahead and just downloaded a couple images from Shutterstock so I can kind of demonstrate how to use the Lumetri color effect. The first thing I'm going to do is right click in my project window. I'm going to go to new item and new adjustment layer. I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to drag this on top of this clip because this one we're going to work with right now. So let's just say for this example, I want to dial down um, how yellow the sun looks in the shot. Even though this shot looks amazing, I got it on Shutterstock. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the effects control, or sorry, the effects tab, and I'm going to type in Lumetri. Just start typing in Lumetri color. Double click on that and load it onto this adjustment layer. Go to the effects controls tab, and we're going to work inside the curves. And actually, one other thing I want to do is it's really helpful is if you go to window and open up your Lumetri scopes the one we're going to work with is vector scope yuv so i'm going to uncheck all of the other ones except for that one so that way we can see exactly what colors are peaking and obviously as you can see the yellow is just way off the charts on this shot right here so what i want to do is i want to bring down that just that yellow color and nothing else so if you click here on this uh, this yellow button here, it's gonna put three points on the wheel. Maybe I'll add a couple extra points just in case. So I'm gonna start dragging this point down and you'll see what happens is the yellow in the, uh, the Lumetri scope is reflecting that. So I'm just gonna start bringing down the yellow color here until it looks good. Let's say that's exactly what I'm looking for. So let's go to this shot here. Let's say that maybe I only want the lady in the red dress is the only color in this entire shot that I want. We can totally do that. So let's just drag an adjustment layer down on here. Once again, we'll add a Lumetri color. Go to the curves section and we're gonna select red and we're gonna drag every other point except for red, we're gonna drag down. Now, as you can see, everything in the entire shot is completely desaturated except for the lady's red dress. Now that looks pretty cool. If that's the effect you're looking for, awesome. Maybe the tall grass in this shot, we want the, uh, the orangish brown color to kind of stand out a little more. So we'll go ahead and uh, throw an adjustment layer on top of that. Once again, add the, uh, the Lumetri color effect. Go into our curves tab and I'm going to select yellow and red and I'm just going to start ramping up what I think is going to be that color. So as you can see, the color is already getting super saturated and it's not affecting anything else in the shot. So that looks pretty cool right there. So as I mentioned, I have a LUT for you guys that's a free download. So I'm going to show you guys really quick what that looks like. So I'm going to remove this Lumetri color from this shot and I'm gonna add another one back in. I guess I could have reset it. And then uh, I'm gonna go to the Creative tab, and under Look, I'm gonna browse for the Video Course LUT, which we have right here. And I'm gonna open that up, 
And I feel like the intensity could probably come down a bit. So we'll lower the intensity of that shot. And I'm gonna type in maybe 50 for faded film. And vibrance 25. And I'm gonna go back up to basic correction. And I'm gonna start messing with the contrast just a bit. And then the exposure feels a little too hot to me. I'm gonna bring it down to negative 0.3. Now let's say on this shot, for example, there's just too much blue. There's, let me move this over. If you look in the shot, there's just too many blue accents because that's obviously from the, uh, from the sunlight. There's just little blue accents here and here. This area is totally blue. Maybe I just want to dial that down. So even if I look in my YUV over here, you can see that this blue color is peaking right here. So I'm going to go into my curves and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna select this blue and this blue, and I'm just gonna start bringing it down. I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna make this a little bigger so we can see what's going on. This is probably the blue right here. Yep, that's the blue. So as you can see, as soon as I start dragging that point, all of the little blue accents are going away. Let me put it back to the way it was before. That's how it was before, roughly right there. And then if I bring it down a little bit, now the blue has lowered quite a bit. So we can look at our Lumetri scope here and see that there's a little bit of yellow peaking as well. So maybe we want to bring down the yellow. I'm guessing it's probably the yellow inside of her hat. So I'll bring that down a little bit. Don't want to desaturate it completely, but let's put it right about there. So that looks like a pretty nice shot. Now, if we look the, at the before and after of that, we can see what we're working with. So this is the before, which is a nice looking shot. It's a nice photograph, but this looks a little bit more cinematic. And one last shot, let's give this a little more cinematic look by adding the LUT to it. So we're gonna go to the Creative tab. We're gonna add the TVC LUT, and we're gonna lower the Intensity to about 50 and then I want to ramp up the contrast a bit See about 60 is good faded film. We're gonna go with 50 and then maybe we want to bring down the exposure by minus 0.2 That looks pretty good and then maybe this yellow is still a little bit too harsh for us So we're gonna bring that down just a bit I like how that's looking so that's it. Make sure to get your free LUT download. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.